we're going to look at uh, how we can determine what the ratio of specific heats is. Okay, um, we saw in a previous video uh, that the work done by a compressor when compressing air adiabatically uh, was equal to this. And we know that in an adiabatic system that because there's no heat then the change in internal energy is due to the work. And we saw also in a previous video that uh, the internal energy, the change in internal energy, is equal to uh, this expression here. So if they're both equal to the work, uh, we can say that they're equal to each other. And we immediately can cancel out those. So I get R over gamma minus 1 is equal to CV. But in yet another previous video, we showed that R was equal to CP minus CV. And then it's just playing around with fractions. Divide, um, sorry, bring gamma minus 1 up and CV down here. And then just divide them in. So we get CP over CV minus CV over CV, which is 1, is equal to gamma minus 1. The 1s will cancel. And I get CP over CV is equal to gamma. So the ratio of specific heat capacities is the specific heat capacity at constant pressure minus specific heat capacity at constant volume.